Hi, beautiful. You are looking like a snack today. Yes, you are. The best snack in the whole store. Like a bag of purple Doritos, which I think is like the spicy, spicy something Doritos. That's what you kind of look like, like a spicy Dorito. Um, hi, thank you for being here. Today we're watching Some People Dye Their Hair Split Color Split dyeing, one of those. Split color is something that I have dabbled in. I definitely dabbled in that. I did it to my own hair. I think it was like a pink and, and turquoise moment. It was fun, it only lasted like a week. I kind of had an identity crisis and was like, I need to be blonde again. And I got rid of it. Story of my life. Just coloring my hair different colors and then always going back blonde. And now I'm here. And I'm like kind of blonde, but like also kind of not. That has nothing to do with this video though. Today we're watching people dye their hair split color. <laughs> We're watching people dye their hair split dye color. I don't know what it's called. We're watching people dye their hair split hair dye color. They're split dyeing their hair. That's the one. People are gonna do all sorts of different things in this video. I'm excited to watch it with you guys and see just how good or how bad it comes out. Maybe some hair disasters, maybe just some really good things are gonna happen today. Again, I am a professional hairstylist. And I'll be giving you my professional opinion and professional outlook on each situation we get in with each of these girls. Let's get into it. Up first, we'll be watching Sunshine and Rosies. This is called DIY Split Dye Hair Plus Olaplex. Well, at least we got a little protection in there, huh? Today, I am doing something that I am so nervous about. I am going to split dye my <laughs> yeah you are this side is going to yeah. be blonde and crazy colors okay this side's just going to be my natural state so she said she's going to do blonde with crazy colors on one side and keep it natural on one side i don't know what that means you know is it blonde or is it crazy colors pick one <laughs> instead of dying the whole thing at once i thought i really like this split dye trend that's going around so i'm going to do that first and if i hate it i can always just dye the other half and uh no harm done. I love that plan. She's like, you know what? If it doesn't work out, we can just do something else. We can just change the plan. That's what I usually do when it doesn't work out on people. I'm just like, well, we're doing something else today. You're not getting what you wanted. Putting Olaplex in the bleach will turn this 30 developer into a 20 developer. I have Asian hair. What did you just say? You have Asian hair? I've never in my life heard a white person say I have Asian hair. Maybe she's Asian. I don't know. I can tell you something. Looking at her hair right now, she does not have Asian hair at all. Asian hair is typically way heavier, way thicker. Her hair looks fine and just an average thickness. My hair's gonna take a long time to lighten as it is because my natural color. I read somewhere, um, only on one, and I didn't bother trying to look for more, which may have been a mistake on my behalf. Someone, a hairdressing blog or somewhere, couldn't link it for you, can't even remember where I read it. She used to dye the hair with bleach and then go in with the treatment of this. So she's using 30 volume lightener and Olaplex to color her hair. I think that is a great combination and um, that should work out for her. I hope this gets light enough for her to color it into a multicolored moment and I'm excited to see what happens. It's gonna go orange. I know it's gonna go orange. Oh, 100%. Be for a while. So it's gonna go orange and it's gonna go yellow then I can finally tone it. And I'm not gonna be doing this in one application. Okay. Like one day. I'm gonna be spreading it out over a couple of weeks. Well, I'm glad she knows that it's not an overnight thing and she's gonna have to work her way up and it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be great. Okay, so we are starting the application method and let's see what we do here. Move my way up, leave like a couple of centimeters at the roots, do that all the way up and then come back down, do the roots, do that all the way up, and then start my timer. I think that might work. Yes! So she is uh, doing the mids and ends first, letting that process a little bit, and then hitting the roots, because we don't do the roots first when we're doing a virgin color application like this, or we're doing, you know, like a, a bleaching on dark hair. Beautiful plan, hopefully the execution is good, and we're gonna get a winner. And we're using foil, F yeah. This is how I like it. Oh, is she not using foil? I thought you was, I don't know where I got the foil thing from. I'm delusional. It's okay. It's something I've been dealing with my entire life. So don't feel bad, you know? And now we have the foil. Okay, I'm not delusional. I'm just a, a psychic. All right, now I need to find mom's hair dryer. I would not recommend using a hair dryer um, because it tends to dry out the lightener and with lightener, you want it to stay moist to process better. Something you can do is put a bag over your head and spray the inside of the bag with water or just put a little water in it and sit in the heat. It's a warm, moist heat instead of a drying sort of heat like the blow dryer gives you. This will actually stop the lightener from processing further. Not a good idea, wouldn't recommend it. Oh, f 
This is what it looks like. And I understand everyone's probably thinking this is a freaking disaster. Kinda oh, is. Yeah, you know what? However, I need to do more than one bleaching session anyway because Yo, yeah. my hair is just so dark. So this is just the first one of the bunch. Now what I did is Ooh, girl. I didn't wait long enough to do the roots. So I put the ends on. Right. I just finished the ends, then started doing the roots. I should have waited. Done the ends. Waited like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, then done the roots. Because the roots, my god, they lighten so quickly. When I'm doing hair, I actually like to wait until the mids and ends get to like a very light orange in order to start the roots. It's not like I really time anything out. It's not about time with lightening hair. It's about looking at the hair and knowing what you're looking at, which comes with experience. But I like to wait until it is pretty bright orange and then apply onto the root. The root will lighten in like 20 minutes to pure white. It's always beautiful. The roots are just like your best friend sometimes. Timing doesn't really help either like maybe wait 10 minutes but still maybe your ends are red still after 10 minutes like you want to make sure those ends are orangey like a light blonde in order to start the roots okay so she is going in again we're doing the foils we got some help this time we're pounding it out we have mom on the back of the head and she looks like she's doing a very precise job what is going on here <laughs> you know like what is going on here why is she doing such a good job is your mom a hairdresser does your mom have a hair hair background hair degree 15 minutes later. And I had the hair dryer on it the whole time. On the Stop with the hair dryer, please. And now I wanna try and go and redo the roots. I don't think she needs to do the roots again. So she finished applying the roots and then she washed it out and now we are here. Let's see how it came out. Okay, I know I said I'll see you tomorrow and um, I lied, it's been a whole week. <laughs> so now, uh, whoa. However, this is very dirty hair for one. So you're not gonna get the full effect of what it was. Oh wow, her hair is really thick. Dude, it looks amazing. You did an amazing job for what you're working with. Like I am highly impressed with this. Okay. It lined quite a bit and I actually don't mind it. The roots are still, see, overexposed because using an iPhone camera. She did that damn thing. I don't mind the color. Instead of me going like dark and then like pastels, I'm probably gonna go more like dark and brights. I'm going to go and buy some color today, I think. Color this bad boy. And then that'll be my final, my- I can't wait to see what the color. I have been absolutely terrible at filming. Yeah, what the f uh, in the last clip, I was like, see you for down my hair. And then my day got so hectically busy. Wait, why didn't we see it? And then I only had a really small window to be able to dye my hair before someone came to look at my car. And I just forgot to film. <laughs> Took me until I was actually rinsing out the dye and I was like. Show us what we have though. I want to still want to see it. Regrowth, but this is going to be the outro to my split hair. Split hair, split hair dye video. Wow, it's red. Whoa, it's really fun. And I know this is week old hair, so it looks puffy as hell and it's not its greatest. I really like it. I get looks. Oh, I'm sure. At um, the fish and chip shop and this guy was just staring at me and I just forgot that my hair was split. Whoa, that's so cool. You can flip it over and have different colors. Got split dye at the moment. I really, really like it a lot. I think it is so much cooler than what her original hair was. I'm glad she did something different. So fun, so fierce. I would have honestly liked to see maybe purple or something. I don't know if like red, I'm the biggest fan of like red and black together, but that's just me and like who the f cares? Really cool though, and she did an amazing job. You look beautiful, babe. All right, let's move on to the next video, shall we? Our next video is by Haley Bryn. Haley, yeah, I think it's Haley. And this is called Brown and Blonde Split Hair Dye. I bought a wig. Basically, it was like half black, 
half blonde. I decided I wanted my hair to look like that. Yeah. So I stripped all the green out. Now we're here. Cool. And that's what we're gonna do. I have all of my hair color. Sounds like fun. But, uh, since my hair is so bleached, I gotta, I gotta do this. I was told to wash my hair with shampoo only. Okay. Bad boy on. And then put the hair dye over top of it. Uh, I'm doing dark brown and not black because black hair dye terrifies me. Okay, so the choices she's making are impeccable. She's giving me a silver platter of perfection. That's kind of what I like. Basically what she said is she's not gonna dye her hair black because black is just like a, a to get out. Excuse my language or don't. Black's really hard to get out. So she's doing brown, great choice. Also another five-star choice is to do the orange over her hair before she then colors it brown. That way it doesn't turn green or get mucky and gross because guess what? I'll explain more in a bit. Washed my hair. I towel dried until damp, but I'm scared. So now I get to put this stuff on my head. She is doing a splendid job. So the reason why it's good for her to work on very much towel dried hair is because we're trying to fill in those holes in her hair. Her hair is very light blonde, probably pretty damaged considering she just went from green back to blonde. So we're trying to fill up those little tiny holes in her hair and get them rehydrated before we then lay color over the top. That way the color takes evenly from roots to ends and you don't get patches where the color overtook because of the little tiny holes in the hair where that hydration is needed and it didn't just suck in the color in those spots, not suck in the color in other spots. You wanna kinda even out your playing field before you then go in with the rest of the color. God, I am terrified. It's fine, everything's fine. Everything's totally fine. You're just like not gonna get your blonde back for a while. To this side, so you can see this side of my head more. I have a mirror like right down here, so I'm probably just gonna be like <laughs> the whole time. But yeah, I guess here we go. Bro, I'm so scared. Yo, yo. Oh, it's, it's orange. <laughs> Who's letting me do this? Nobody. Maybe I can make him help me, who knows? A good brown color is composed of red, blue, and yellow, which are the primary colors. So what she has to do is add back that red first because red is a big underlying color in brown hair because she has literally no pigment in her hair because that is what bleach does. It strips out pigment out of your hair. You're trying to add back in that red tone, really put a lot more into it. That way when she puts the brown color over this, she's getting a lot of that red pigment. She's getting all those little gaps filled in her hair, the porosity even doubt. And then she's putting in that brown that also has green and blue in it. And it's just making the perfect concoction of brown. Without this red she's doing underneath, she won't get that depth that you're gonna get with doing this method. Without this method, you'll get a kind of hollow green color. It just makes a huge difference, makes it look more warm and healthy with this kind of color correction. So I guess I gotta keep this stuff on for 20 minutes. That's what everyone has said. I don't think I've ever winged a hair color. If this is winging it, you're doing a great job. I've gone dark brown from blonde before, but I that was many years ago and I didn't know that this, this stuff was a thing. Uh-huh. Educated. So my hair was green and I was like, darn. I didn't want- That's what happens. So I did my research this time. We love it. I swear to God, I guess it's time. I'm surprised you don't wash it out first. This is gonna look really good, I feel like. This is a really great job. Okay, I've given up. I was using a tint brush at first. But now I don't care. You don't need to use a tint brush for really any reason when you're doing stuff like this. Honestly, I could even live my whole life without a tint brush. The only thing you really need a tint brush for is doing foils. Otherwise, you can pretty much get away with not using it. And I don't really mind you guys not using it. It's a helpful tool sometimes, but you know, I just got used to using it. But you don't need it. Just go for it. I wonder what she's using for color though. I think she's using box dye, which is kind of concerning. I hope it's not too red though. Ooh, it's turning a nice brown color. <sighs> Magic. I guess. Just gonna wait and then I can't wait to see the outcome. I guess I'll be back when it's done. Oh, I'm also gonna do my extensions. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been busy with work. What? Okay, the extensions, <laughs> okay. And the bangs, <laughs> okay. And that brown color. <laughs> Okay. Listen, I love that it is a slightly warm brown. It's like a neutral warm brown. It complements the sort of neutral warm blonde that she has on the other side. It looks amazing together. And also it is not at all green. That orange color you put on first really helped a lot. Let's see what she has to say though. I got bangs. I think I'm going through my midlife crisis. Mid-youth crisis, we call it actually. It. I really want to color in this pink. Yes. 
Yes, do that. That was magic. Cool. I'm so happy. That was so good. Wow, she did a great job. Wow, these last two videos were impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Beautiful. Love it. Let's move on to the next video. All right, we have Mina Savage, and this is called How to Split Dye Hair. Red and gray bleaching process and aftercare. So, hey, you guys. Oh. Look at me, looking crusty. Okay. Hair is looking a little orange, huh? And bleach. 40 volume. To need a cup and a brush for this process. I'm gonna be using platinum and crimson and a door. Oh. And yep, you're gonna need some gloves right there. <laughs> So you're just gonna need to mix all of that up. Look at my face, oh my God. But yes, mix all of- Why are we doing 40 volume? 40 volume on your scalp, ouch. 30 volume would be great for you. 30 volume is actually my favorite developer in the world. I know, I have a favorite developer. It's weird. So it's a lot of things I do. You don't want any type of clumps when you're doing this mm -mm. in your hair. So I'm just gonna start applying that to my hair. And when I tell you guys this thing, Ooh, that application though. Stop overlapping. Bleached my hair last time. I actually just um, dyed it. Oh my God, I got my eye. <laughs> I kind of didn't record that much because like it kept burning my eye. Okay, so when you're doing a root touch up, don't overlap your color. You see how you're kind of like going over your existing blonde hair? That is so bad. You're gonna break off your hair and it's just gonna, it's gonna leave you with white patches in the center of your hair. You gotta be really careful and really precise when you're retouching your roots. If you do wanna bleach your hair, just make sure you're really, really careful. Okay, so. Exactly, be more careful. Bleached. Um, I think I put it all over because I really couldn't get everything out I wanted to. Okay, so this is my hair fully bleached. I'm just showing you guys because look at my face. It's all in my eye. I really couldn't record everything. Ah, uh -huh, get it out of your eyes. Sorry, but I just bleached my hair. So I'm going to be putting this bag over my head to like store, like restore the bleach, like make sure it getting is getting all the parts because at first I can't watch this parts. But it did not left that on for about 10 minutes. Okay, the other thing she just did that really irked me was put a bag on her head and then pushed it down. You don't wanna push the existing blonde hair back into the bleach. It'll cause breakage also. So you wanna always keep the sections lifted when you put the bag on and not tie the bag too tight around your head. Um, and also spray water in the bag so it heats up and it creates steam. It was like really, really bright. I was loving it because I knew the color was just gonna take really good. It was- ah, Stop rubbing it, everything. stop it but said this really burns your head it doesn't burn like oh my god like get this off of me it just burns like this shit burns like it's, it's not pleasant i washed everything out it was a really good bright color and i was really loving it you know what on camera it actually looks pretty good i don't know it might, might not look that good in real life I don't know. Because I knew the color would take really, really well. Oh, yeah. It's still a little black right there, but that's fine. People always miss the damn edges when they color their hair. To blend that all. Okay, so here comes the fun part. I can't wait to see the split dye moment. All right, I'm going to be putting the gray on the right side. And the red on the left side. You just want to make sure you're applying everything evenly. So you oh, that's a dark gray. Miss any spots. We're doing dark gray. I did this totally wrong. Not totally wrong, but I was just going in and not sectioning it right because I was just being a lazy freaking bum and just putting everything together. You know what? Not sectioning your hair actually makes you end up doing your hair for longer, I've noticed. I have had times where I'm like, I'm too lazy to section hair too. Like, I get it. And then I end up not doing it. And then I just end up working on the hair for longer because you're trying to get all the hair covered and you didn't section it out correctly. You just create a whole mess for yourself. Just honestly go in with sections in the first place. It makes everything so much easier, so much cleaner, and it makes it come out good the first time instead of having to redo it twice. You can totally comb in some permanent color like the color she's using a door um that's totally fine i deeply apologize she did, did it she did it holy shit this looks so good already i did need some help and i asked my stepsister to help me i like the red side though this to my hair because i could not see and i did not want everything to be like uneven and all that and i wanted to <gasps> oh 
So this is me after I She's looking it cute. Out. And I blow dried it. I left it in there for like a good 30 minutes so it could take Oh yeah. That's the style I needed. I'm supposed to get two ponytails, put them in two ponytails, but now I'm just like She's so f cute. I don't even know what I'm doing. <gasps> this is how it looks so cool. It's been a really like long process. I had to figure out like how I wanted to do it and all the other stuff. Also, yeah, like I said, I, I love it. Put it in two ponytails, but that didn't work out. This is like all right too. This side is like still kind of blonde. Like you guys can't really see it. Like I gotta like I want like this to be up in my forehead because I hate how my forehead looks. The way she blew it out or like kind of puffed it up made it really afro like it just looks so good with the color however 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 i would have liked the gray to be black honestly i would think black would have looked better even though in the beginning of this video i said i don't like red and black together i don't know this is more like a pink so like whatever i don't know i feel like it would work for her or like a blue and a pink you guys know i don't like gray hair just because you can see on her hair it's kind of like yellow in some spots and like gray in some spots it just like irks me when that happens that's totally a me thing i'm crazy uh but i do think it would look better with a blue or black but i think it looks so epic all right those were some magical split dye creations i am obsessed they looked incredible all of them did an amazing job i couldn't believe the knowledge the first two had what the hell was that y'all be really pretending you're not hairdressers and i know i see you i know you are so stop it stop pretending you guys really nailed it great job all of you look amazing i love a split dye hair color why can't I say it? Split dye hair. That's what it's called. Split dye hair. You know why I've done this, these videos like three times now and I still can't say it. I don't know what the mental block is, but it's there. I don't know why, but it's there. Great job. Beautiful. Amazing. Don't forget to follow me on all the different social media networks, which is TikTok, Instagram, Twitter under Brad Mondo NYC. You can also find my Facebook page and my Snapchat show under Brad Mondo. And make sure you follow my hair care brand, X Mondo Hair on Instagram, as well as visit our website at X Mondo hair.com and take our quiz to find out which hair care products of mine would be the best for you. We also just released a brand new product, which is called Salty Sea Salt Spray. It'll give you magical, fabulous, beachy waves all year round. So make sure you guys check that out. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you next time. Bye guys. This is BDSM, our slick and defined balm. This is gonna be a perfect product to finish any style. You just put a little in your hands, distribute it through the bottoms of your hair, and you'll get that lived in sort of cool texture we're seeing a lot of nowadays. Also, best thing to use this for, flyaways, edges, tame them down, girl. Get them glued to that forehead. You know that look.